Something incredible happened today that'll take Dogecoin 10 steps closer to mass adoption. This could even take it to the much-awaited $1 mark. Let's talk about it. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we go any further, please keep in mind that we're giving away $100 to a random subscriber. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment on your favorite cryptocurrency. Read our description for more info about it. Now let's get started with today's video. So, this is what happened. Billy Marcus was talking about how the next update could bring the Dogecoin transaction cost down to $0.01. After this, Mitch Lumen, who's one of the core developers of the Dogecoin team, jumped in and said that it'll be a fractional Dogecoin. I don't want to assure on how low it'll be, but it'll probably go down by more than one order of magnitude from where it is now. If you watched my previous video, you might remember that I talked about how this will come true very soon. Now, before I move on to why this is such a big deal, let's talk about something incredible that happened right after that. Elon Musk liked this tweet. I think this came as a confirmation that he has been overlooking its development for a while now, and I think it makes it 10 times better. With that said, let's talk about why this update is such a huge deal. To understand this, we have to take a quick look at this article. Basically, it talks about how Bitcoin transactions are incredibly slow and costly. It says that it'll be impossible for Bitcoin to replace fiat money. They also mention how Bitcoin Cash could be a decent alternative because it'll increase the block size by 8x. But I highly doubt that even then it'll be a cost-efficient option for the common public. Another option they talk about is Lightning Network, which is quite popular right now, but then it has its own problems. If you use Lightning Network for transactions, it'll basically defeat the whole purpose of using blockchain technology. People who use blockchain don't want an added layer from a third-party authority. They want it to be decentralized. So, that leaves us with Dogecoin. We know that the inflation rate is higher than ever and people and governments will be looking for an alternative that's sustainable. Now, you might argue that there are other cryptocurrencies which have a lower transaction fees than even the new proposed fees for Dogecoin. That's true, but you have to remember that none of them are backed so strongly by Elon Musk. Elon Musk has the power and the following to make Dogecoin the world's currency. And we know that he's talked about how lowering the transaction cost of Dogecoin is going to make it the ultimate winner. So the point is that if they go through with this update, it's pretty much inevitable that Dogecoin will go to $1. Sure, there will be many roadblocks in the way, and we can't say when it'll happen. But it definitely will get there when the mass adoption for Doge begins. Now, that being said, there is obviously some bad news for the crypto market as well. Before I get into the good and the bad that happened today, I want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. I request you to do your own research before investing into cryptocurrencies. Also, I want to mention the bad news as well because everyone deserves to get a full picture of the market. So, let's talk about some of that now. So, the founder of Edelman Financial Engines recently said that Dogecoin is a victim of pump and dump scheme. He said that it has no legitimate use case. It is not something that is doing any good to the crypto market when it comes to generating credibility or getting approved by the United States SEC. Now, I think I have to disagree with that. As I've mentioned before, Dogecoin is approved by over 1,400 stores right now. So, I'd say that this is false. Now, let's move on to the next one. This one talks about how Dogecoin is forming into head and shoulders patterns and is in a consolidation period right now. And that is true. In the near future, Dogecoin's price might fall again. But then there's a lot of good news coming out every day that could prove to be huge catalysts for Dogecoin. So after accepting Bitcoin as legal tender, El Salvador is thinking about paying employees in Bitcoin. Right now, they have a law that states that the salaries may only be paid in colons or dollars, but that is probably going to change now. I think this could be really bullish news for all cryptocurrencies. And another one talks about how Bitcoin mining produces only 2% of the world's industrial complex carbon emissions. I think this means that a lot of institutional investors have been blowing things out of proportion when it comes to Bitcoin mining, and this is why we should always double check every fact out there. Now let's talk about Michael Saylor for a minute. 
I mentioned in the last video how he's going to pump nearly a billion dollars into Bitcoin really soon. Now he's come out again in support of Bitcoin. This is important because his company, MicroStrategy, is one of the largest Bitcoin holders in the US, and a lot of retail investors follow its actions. So he said that, in the past 12 months, we have all been waiting for inflation and I think we are seeing it now. Right now investors are seeing that Bitcoin is up by 330% and gold is up 7% in that period. So Bitcoin is outperforming gold as an inflation hedge by a factor of 50. While he said that about Bitcoin, I'd like to remind you that Dogecoin is outperforming gold as an inflation hedge by a factor of 1000. Coming back to Saylor, he also said that he thinks that the Ethereum network wants to dematerialize the JP Morgan building, the banking establishments, and all of the exchanges. So basically anything bullish from these huge investors is a big deal for altcoins like Ethereum or Dogecoin. Now, let's talk about some other really interesting statistics for Dogecoin and Bitcoin. 98% of CFOs say their hedge fund will invest in Bitcoin by 2026. They said that they expect their hedge funds to invest 7.2% of their assets in cryptocurrencies in the next five years. And this 7.2% will amount to roughly $300 billion. And I think this isn't far-fetched and not surprising at all, considering that the inflation rate of the dollar has reached a massive 5%. On top of that, one of the most popular wealth managers, Paul Tudor, said that he really liked Bitcoin as a portfolio diversifier. In 2021, he increased his Bitcoin holdings from 2% to 5%, which is huge. Now, another really interesting survey suggests that more Brits bought crypto than shares in 2020. Basically, the survey revealed that 7% of adult Britishers reported that they had bought crypto over the last year. It is 2% higher when you compare it to stocks and shares. What this means is that more and more people are looking to invest in Bitcoin after its surge last year. And this is creating a ripple effect which is bringing in even more investors into the market. And we know that when Bitcoin goes up, it'll almost always take Dogecoin with it. So I think it's pretty great. Now, another great news that came out was that the crypto asset manager Bitwise has raised over $70 million in Series B funding. This is great news because Bitwise basically exposes cryptocurrencies to long-term investors and it does this with existing workflows. This means that there is no extra hassle of talking to traders and being worried about ups and downs. He said that his company has seen inflows every single day for the last two months despite the recent market crash. So with companies like Bitwise getting more and more funding, it'll basically mean that we'll see a stable price for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Dogecoin in the long run. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Goodbye, take care.